Okay, so I should have showed y'all what it looked before, but we can show the outside of the fence on the color wise. We got it stained about close to how many? Five years or four years? Going on four. Going on four years since we've gotten it stained. You can kind of see where it's like mainly white from the sprinklers hitting it. So we are going to do this on our own, mainly marks. But. He's been pressure washing to get all the access dirt and the rest of the stain off. Oh, you can see the stain on this one. I'll get closer so you guys can see what it looks like and what stain color we previously had. But pretty much him pressure washing it is cleaning all the dirt, taking off the remaining stain that was on there, which we didn't think it was going to take off the stain because it's been there for so long. But looking pretty good. Pretty ugly. I want to show them that, that one right there. This is what it looked like before. You can see the color. But we don't know what kind of stain they used. Yeah, I don't know if but it was we cheap paid. Or what, but we purchased a good one this time. <laughs> we so did. A quality one. So hopefully it'll last. All a lot weather protection. Than... We'll show you which one we did pick. But previously, we don't know what they picked. Could have been a cheap one been a pretty penny on whoever stained it for us last time and um, we probably bought a cheap stain <laughs> because it didn't last. This is going to be a fun, exciting job for Marcus. I am going to help him stain it. I'm going to do my best, but this is a before. I'm going to show you what the stain looks like. So we got this five gallon one. Um, Valspar, Valspar, whatever. Um, it's Canyon Brown, so it's a little darker than what we initially had, but this one is a uh, pretty good. Rain ready in four hours. Ay. So hopefully, uh, I don't have that big of a yard, not much of a fence, but hopefully it'll it'll do it. So that's about right. Four year protection. I mean, it's been about four years since we had to do the last one. No, but it needed to be done last year. This was about. 155 or something yeah the five gallons so i need to shake it i don't know if i can pick it up because he's heavy <laughs> ah, <come> on, baby. <laughs> okay so i bought this uh dex and more sprayer for pump less technology different types of nozzles um this was only 20 bucks at yeah. Lowe's. This was also at Lowe's. I'm sure you can find it at Home Depot if you need to. We went to, we looked online at Home Depot and they were out of stock, so that's why we went to Lowe's. So, Mark's uh, already put it together. Yeah. I'm showing what it looks like. So. This is a two gallon. It's just a pump sprayer, so it's locked in place. Once you pour it in there, you'll turn it that way. Wait, which way? Clockwise. There you go. And you'll just pump it until you can no longer pump to get the most pressure out of it. So when you spray, it'll get a nice even. Can you stop moving? Equal spray. There you go. My hair looks really All right. So we're going to go ahead and get this ready. Get the stain in there. You don't need to add water to this stain. Just pretty much pour and ready to go. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and get started on so this side. Took us a while to figure this thing out, but we got it. We figured it out. <laughs> so why? You see the difference? So easy, guys. So it does run a little bit, but it's okay because it sucks into the wood and it doesn't leave any streaks.
Charlie, they're crying for you. <laughs> Looks good, it's a pretty color. This is just the initial coat. And of course, once you dry like that, you can just go back over the spots. Just to help get some color in there. Let it soak in a little bit. The wood is pretty clean because I power washed it, so it's pretty clean and dry. I like it. It's coming out pretty good. I mean, you can just look at the difference from there and there. <laughs> Big difference. And it helps, the, it just preserves the wood and it helps your fence last a lot longer. We're getting close, guys. <laughs> kind of, sort of. Getting close. More than halfway done. Yeah, Marcus has already done the outside of the fence in the alley. So we are getting it done. Sun is going down slowly, but we're going to get it done within the hour. Now that we have a system and figure things out, definitely recommend trying it out on your own first. And if it is a fail, then call a professional. <laughs> we are not professionals. It was definitely worth spending like 170 rather than $400 or $300 paying somebody to do it. Yeah, we just got paid for no reason. Really, Mila? Yeah. What do you think, babe? Would you recommend it? Yeah. You just gotta get your hands dirty. Yeah, you should see Marcus's hands. It's gonna take a long time. Yeah, maybe take a couple days. We are gonna go back and do any missing spots, but it is coming together. It's looking good. Better than what it looks like over here. All right guys, so we, this is our remaining area that we have left. And got about a gallon of paint left. Got about a gallon, it should be enough. So you can see some spots, but it's really like the fence, like, you know, the these little circles, you know, yeah, just the wood. And, but it looks really, really good. We like it a lot. Say hi, Mace. Hi. <laughs> Um, it's, it's a pretty color. We're just going to finish it off. Looks really good, especially in the sun. See that area over here? It looks really pretty. What do you think so far, babe? I love it. A lot better than this. Yeah. See what YouTube Plus does? It makes you feel accomplished. I could have just sat around all day and watched college football, but but you're getting, doing stuff to your home, getting stuff done. Yeah. And you did it for sure, but it looks really pretty so in the sun. if I ever decide to sell this house, the next person will appreciate the hard work and the spins. <laughs> True. All right guys, this is part of the alley. It is fully dried. Looks really nice, really clean, compared to <laughs> looking like this like that so looks really good all right guys this is the final product i am exhausted my neck my back <laughs> and i'm hungry and thirsty <laughs> but the final product it is dry already um, this is one coat yeah it came out pretty good so uh, i'd like to see how it looks in the next couple days after the sun sits on it and stuff we are supposed to get some rain, so I'm excited to see how, how it looks after some rain as well. But definitely better than paying an extra $200 to pay somebody to do it. And you can just do it yourself. It's a pretty long day project. <laughs> Marcus tired. is exhausted. We are tired and we are beat. But, but we love the color and how it looks. 
Yeah, it's not too bright. I mean, it's not too light and it's not too dark. Yeah. So came out really pretty. Came out pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one, our house. Bye. Peace. All right, guys. It has dried for a couple of days now. It looks great. The color looks amazing. We have gotten some rain, and it literally just rolls off the wood, and that's it. The color is really pretty. I'm really loving it.